when I was in the investigation room, they basically told me that I'm a monster. And I, you know, I was the only one that could do this and my story was nonsense. And I told them that's, you know, that's what happened. I have no reason to lie. They claimed that he had bruises and his arm and uh, I don't, I really don't remember all of them. I'm trying to remember because, because it's like, I, I try to forget about some of the stuff that didn't make sense. That day I was watching my son and he woke up, I heard him crying and I went to go get him. I stand him up like this, like on my stomach when I was laying down. And as I went to do that, I seen his leg and it was just wobbling and I didn't understand it. I think my son has a broken leg because of the crib. I've seen his leg in the crib a few times. He was laying in his crib and I've seen him with his leg hanging between the two bars of the, of the crib. And then next thing you know, he wakes up and there's an injury. We eventually went to the hospital and they claimed that his femur was broken. They claimed that his, he had a skull fracture, an arm fracture, bruising, and his ribs. I don't know what to believe because I never saw it. I took an Alfred plea and the only reason I took that Alfred plea was because all they wanted to do was charge me. They didn't want to charge Bailey at all. And the only person they wanted to charge was me. And I had my lawyers in my ear telling me my kids would come home if I got my case over with. The fact that I haven't seen my son, it hurts. I miss him, I wanna see him, I wanna see how much he's grown, I wanna hug him, I wanna hold him. I'm hoping this clears my name, this goes straight to appeal court, and they send my kids home because this was blown way out of proportion and I just want it over. So. How old were you when you had your child? 16. 16? Yeah. Yeah. And how old was Dante? 17. When you had 17. Do you, do you think that you were ready to be a mother at 16? No, I don't no. think any teenager really is. Yeah, and I agree with you 100%. So when the, when the doctors come out and uh, they say, hey, uh, you know, broken femur, fractured femur, broken wrist, uh, skull fractures, all these injuries to a five-month-old, which is extremely unusual, right? Yeah. Do you believe that your son had those injuries or no. the doctor's making them up? I don't believe them because when we went to court, they showed us his femur and they showed us his, his head, or his, you know, his right. skull fracture. They didn't show us anything else. My nephew was in the back seat crying his head off and we couldn't make him calm down or anything. He was really upset. We get to the hospital, they take us back to our room, say they're going to do x-rays. So we were there for about 20 to 30 minutes. They said Bailey couldn't be there because it was now an investigation because they found several broken bones and that wasn't the case at all. I was in shock and it made no sense that he would have broken bones because the day of with me watching him was the same day that he was took to the hospital. It seems like somehow it was um, coaxed or manipulated through the hospital or DCF that they made this stuff up or they use somebody else's x-rays for this baby because there's no way that he would have had all those injuries. I think the way he got hurt was his leg got stuck in the rails when he was sleeping and he had turned over and it possibly broke his leg. My wife and I both hope that Dante and Bailey both pass without a problem. Um, it's been a long time since all this has transpired. It's been like two or three years and it's not fair to them that if they did nothing wrong, that they lost their kids for nothing. And I hope that by this, them being on the show and proving that they didn't do anything, that this will go away and they'll get their kids back and our family can come back together and be one again. But if they fail, there's no way I am going to let them around my kids whatsoever. I'm not going to risk it. Bailey, you took a lot of tech test, and we asked you, did you ever witness or observe Dante strike, hit, or use unnecessary force on your son 
at any time. You answered no. You told the truth. Did you ever witness or observe Dante twist or yank on your son's leg at any time? You answered no. You told the truth. Okay. Are you lying to protect Dante because you know for sure he caused the injuries to your son? You answered no. You did not tell the truth. <laughs> did you participate in any way with causing any of those injuries to your son? You answered no. Do you know for sure who caused any of those injuries to your son? You answered no. Did you cause any of those injuries to your son at any time? You answered no. And the results for those three questions came back all the same. And it came back that Bailey did not tell the truth. Oh, my. Okay. You put the baby in a swing and it fell out? He fell out of it, yeah. Why didn't you strap him in? He didn't fit. If he couldn't fit in the swing and you couldn't strap him in, why would you do that? All right, uh, Dante, we broke yours up too. First one, we asked you about uh, drugs. Have you ever used, ingested, injected, snorted, or smoked the drug called meth, crystal meth, methamphetamine at any time? You answered no. Have you ever used, smoked, ingested, or injected any illegal drugs or narcotics in the presence of your son at any time? You answered no. The results for those two questions came back the same, and it came back that Dante did not tell the truth. Are you kidding me? Did you cause the fracture to your son's skull? You answered no. You told the truth. Well, we know how the son fractured the skull. She put him in a swing, then strap him in into a swing he didn't fit, left the room, he fell out, clunked his head on a wood floor. That's how he fractured his skull. Uh, did you cause any of those injuries to your son at any time? Uh, the vast amount of other injuries that, you know, wrist, uh, fractures, leg, head, skull, everything. Uh, you answered no. You did not tell the truth. Oh, that's Did you wow. run like you did at the hospital? Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Did you cause the fracture to your son's leg? You answered no. You did not tell the truth. That's did I didn't you, hurt my son. Did you cause the broken ribs to your son? You answered no. You did not tell the truth. <laughs> so you broke the ribs. No, I didn't do it. Did you cause the bruises to your son's body and face? You answered no. You did not tell the truth. So you came here, no. you failed everyone except the fact to your son. You passed that one because we know she did it. Are you still breaking up with her? Yeah. Oh, you are. I didn't do anything well, that was said know, on this you paper. You didn't do anything. You no, pled sir. guilty because you know you did it. I played with all the kids. You pled guilty. Yes, you I took, did. You took uh, two months probation. Okay, yeah, do that. What, you don't think people already saw what happened and what you're doing? I didn't do anything. Do you think that you're I ever going to get your I two kids back? I did not do anything. Do you think you'll ever get your Probably two kids not, back? Probably not, but I didn't do anything. Probably not. But I didn't do anything. Take your punk ass and get the hell out of here. Okay with your bitch ass. Yeah, okay. But you know, when I go home, I get to see my kids. And I've never right, played bitch. guilty. Yeah, okay. Get out of my way. Oh, you know what? You don't get pizza from me. Okay. You are. Okay. Now take your bitch ass home. Walk all the way home. All right, bitch. Yeah. All right. Bye. Goodbye. And you know, maybe I'll see your kids someday. Maybe I'll I'll hold them. Maybe I'll I'll say hi to them. You covered up for that guy. I hope that you do leave him. And I hope you'll pick a guy that you won't never have to cover up for. Because if you really love somebody, you don't do stupid shit like that. And then they have to lie for you and cover up for you. And I hope you get your act together so that someday if you have another child, that they won't be taken away from you. And you can never see him again. But that guy, shame on you if you ever do anything with that guy again. Shame on you.